Senator Marco Rubio on the record. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Greta. Senator, you are a critic of this swap, are you not? Well, no, I'm happy that they're coming home. I'm certainly pleased by that. And I share your sentiments about Bob Levinson, whose family has a presence in Florida, and we will not forget him. We will continue to bring that up. It's unacceptable that Iran has not been cooperative in that regard. I'm happy they're coming home. My problem is this. Number one, they should never have been hostages in the first place. None of them did anything wrong. And number two, I think that Iran very deliberately seized them because they know that under a Barack Obama, you can trade Americans for people you want back. And so here we have five innocent people who were traded in exchange for seven guilty people who were condemned in courts of law in the freest judicial system in the world. And I just right. think the precedent this continues to set, Bergdahl, the Cuban trade, and now this, now you've put a price on the head of every American abroad in terms of being kidnapped or captured by unfriendly governments. Does it make any difference to her in the equation that the seven who were released by the United States in that swap, the Iranians, is that they were sanctions violation uh, criminals, criminals at the time, violated our law, but now that the sanctions have been lifted, that that crime sort of vanishes. But they committed a crime at the time. But does that factor, does that make it any different to you? Well, on, only in the sense that, number, obviously, they're, they're not accused of violent crime or things of this nature, but the bottom line is they were convicted of wrongdoing. So here you are, seven people who were convicted for legitimate wrongdoing, traded in exchange for five people who did nothing wrong. Like a few of them hadn't even been charged. There was no understanding. One of them, there wasn't even public acknowledgement they were there. And it's just outrageous. It really is. But again, I think you're going to see more of this as long as Barack Obama is president, because it's now clear to everyone that he makes trades with the Taliban, made trades with the Castro brothers, and now this, you are now creating an incentive for more governments and more countries to try to, and more terrorist groups or others, to try to get their hands on Americans. Uh, but look, we're glad that they're coming home. It took way too long. And if anything else, this should remind us and open our eyes to the fact of who Iran truly is. They are not an ally. They are not a friendly government. And they're not, from their government's perspective, even a civilized government. They are basically a terror government run by a radical Shia cleric who, do, who are willing to do whatever it takes. And in, and in this case, you know, hold these five Americans had done nothing wrong. I likewise am thrilled they're coming home. I have to tell you, I've been in the Hekmati home in Michigan. I spent a lot of time with Ali yep. Razayan. I know the, uh, Pastor Abedini's family. You know, I'm absolutely thrilled they're coming home. So, I mean, I'm still, you know, so incredibly jubilant. Um, in light and of the Ali fact... And Ali was at the State of the Union, so it was great that he was there. And yeah. Ali was in, at the in, State of the Union, and he kept Jason's story alive. So, so what would you have done to get them home? If you wouldn't do this swap, what would you have done? If you'd walked in the office of President of the United States and they were still captive, could you have done anything different? Yes, I would say that there would no negotiations with Iran would have even begun, or at least would not have moved forward without this issue being resolved first, at the front end, not at the back end, at the front end. Now, I think that I'm very suspicious of this deal with Iran to begin with. I think there should have been specific sanctions against Iran simply for the fact that they took these five Americans hostages. There should have been a specific sanctions just for this, not to mention the missile deals or the, the missile activity they're undertaking, and of course, not to mention their nuclear program. So I think we would have been much firmer at the front end and insisting their immediate and unconditional release and uh, and not somehow encourage them to roll them into this whole deal where again you're getting a trade of seven people convicted in a court of law in exchange for five Americans who did nothing wrong and were hostages they were not prisoners they were hostages all right let me turn to 2016 you're getting hit pretty hard today by Governor Chris Christie New Jersey who says in reference to you, this is a first-term senator who still is learning where the men's room is in the Senate, let alone figuring out how to lead a country. I agree with what Senator Rubio said himself. He said just two weeks ago, senators and congressmen can't solve America's problems. I couldn't agree with him anymore. Um, your response to the governor tonight. Well, you know, Chris doesn't want to talk about his record. His record is abysmal. I mean, in terms of the things that he agrees with Barack Obama on, Chris Christie supported Sonia Sotomayor. And we've read his reds on, words on the record. He was a supporter and urged the Senate to confirm her. Chris Christie was a vehement supporter of Common Core. Chris Christie ran for office because he wanted to pass gun control. And Chris Christie made a personal contribution to Planned Parenthood, which he now denies, but for years stood by. And so the bottom line is that it is, my problem is not, I like Chris as a person, but our Republican nominee has to be someone that is going to unravel the Obama agenda and the damage Barack Obama has done to our country, not someone that agrees with gun control, Planned Parenthood, Common Core, and, and, uh, and judges like Sonia Sotomayor. And so that's what we're going to continue to focus on. I don't attack people. His record is not an attack. It's his record.
Senator, thank you very much. Uh, nice to see you, and it's going to be a busy two weeks uh, to you. Iowa. Thank you, sir. Thank you.